Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I'm going to have another go at the balloon popping scenario, but I'm going to use a big normal size party balloon rather than a water balloon this time. So I'm sticking to similar colours, although staying um, going with the light cobalt blue, crimson red, reno art and the titanium white. Um, and I am going to be putting a base of my spring interior exterior acrylic on there. Um, I've got them all mixed up. The red and the cobalt blue have silicon in them, um, but the titanium white does not. And I'm inside because it's raining, and so I'm going to put a box around it once we are ready to pop. So um, let's get this party started. And um, as you can hear, my voice is definitely coming back. I have been in bed with fever and um, cold and yuckiness for, oh, since Friday and it's now Tuesday. So four days, not fun, not my idea of fun anyway. Got lots of video watching done. Um, how does it get any better than that? <laughs> so, I'm going to start by, I've got this all prepped. I've got um, tape across the bottom. I have pre-sprayed this with varnish um, last week in preparation for this. And then I got sick. So, how does it get any better? Just going to stir this up. This is the last of my old tin. My husband went shopping um, at Bunnings the other day and rang me out and said, do you need anything? I said, oh yeah, I need some more of my spring paint. And he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Comes home with a 10 litre pail of it. Um, so I don't think I'll be using a different brand for a while. Um, but that's cool. It's uh, totally awesome of him to contribute to me in that way. Um, I said to him, 10 litres. He's, he's like, right, you get 10 for the price of eight. I thought that was a good deal. <laughs> it is, darling. It is, as long as it doesn't go off in the meantime. <laughs> How does it get any better? He does like the, um, the negative space pours more than the non-negative space pours so maybe he's trying to tell me something <laughs> how does it get any better than that all right so there we have our white base it's super easy and you've got the consistency right put the lid back on that and put that over there so um i've got the same balloon holdery thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually push it right down so that the um, the funnel part actually gets right into the ball of the paint at the balloon and uh, give these a bit of a shake because I haven't used them for a few days as you can imagine So I'm just going to put some paint, put some of each in there. And already you can see a difference to the previous one. Um, oops, now it's starting to be full. All right, that's a great awareness. The other thing about having put that all the way up there is I don't have paint on the blowing part. So I'm just going to blow this up a bit. There we go. Let's tie that off. I was watching a uh, group of guys doing... That was not the intentional. Some 
Somebody's already done a blowout one. I don't need that. I did have no paint on the blowing bit. Let's try that again. That's mixed my colours up a bit. No. This is slippery gloves. This is the problem. Let's get the gloves off. There we go. All right, we're tied up now. Okay. Now. I was watching some guys doing this um, just with tempura paints, single colours into each balloon, lots and lots of balloons. And then they had a, a friend lay down on the ground and... Um, And they popped all their balloons over top of him and made a splatter painting over him. I thought it was quite cool and very uh, very kind of the friend to be willing to blow, lay down. Quick run over to get any air bubbles out of our base paint. And... Well, one thing that they did, sorry, I'm going to have no light in there for a little while, or the slightly weird light, because they were hand, holding the balloon out over his body, they had the balloons attached to a, um, to a stick, and then they taped their little push pin to a stick as well. Now... I hope you're going to be able to see this. I've got my push pin. I've got my paint on my balloon. And let's see what happens. Whee! Oh, that's a lot more paint on the record, which is awesome. And I'm really glad that I had the box in the way. Because that could have made a real mess on all my paintings that I've got laid out to be varnished. Awesome. Now, let's get that down off that so it doesn't fall on anything. And remove the box. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got a bigger version of... <laughs> of what I painted before. But, um... I have a lot more paint on there to work with, which is awesome. Um, having dropped it, it's become all purple, which is fine. Purpley pink. And there's some, some cool stuff going on in there. So let's give it a torch, get rid of the air bubbles. And then see what it wants to do. See if we've got any silicon in here that wants to play. Yep, there's a little bit in there. It's, I actually really like the splatter effect. Um so I'm going to try and keep some of that. Oh. 
always making a bit of noise out there. Unloading the truck. Okay. Let's bring it back. Crikey bee. How does it get any better? So what I'm noticing is that it's not not got a lot of paint. But that's okay. I'm liking that. Just um, gonna bring it back a little bit as it's kind of thinning out around this edge here. Give it another torch and see what happens. You may or may not be able to tell. I'm still not 100% healthy, but what well, maybe coming out and painting might um, <laughs> contribute to my healing process because. Sitting in bed is not. <laughs> I'm definitely a lot healthier than I was. It's definitely disappearing. And uh, that's all good. There's something not quite working for me on this one. I'm not sure where it needs to be. There we go. I have some pretty bits. That's some shapes. That's the side. Please excuse my head. Ah, uh, here we go.
Ah, it's better. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. It's weird. It's wonky. And I like it. I like it a lot. The thing I'm going to do is just see if I can get where I've poured and poured and poured. It's kind of got this line thing happening around here. So I'm just going to just take that over the edge. Happier now. All right, let's get you down and show you what we've got. I've got a huge amount of paint all over my arms. <laughs> Maybe the idea of having your pin on a stick's a good one, and you don't get quite so covered. <laughs> okay, so with it being a rainy day outside, you are getting a false color. Um, this is. Um, very much picking up the orange from the light. It's a lot more blue purple than this is showing. This is showing really, really pink. Um, no, turning that down doesn't change it. Okay. But there's some really cool stuff in here. Once I started blowing it. I really like that look. But you've still got some funky bits. From it blurting out of the balloon. And then you've got the splatter spray, which you wouldn't get from any other method, I don't reckon. Um, and where I've kind of blown some of that, you've got some wiggly bits so I'm really liking this and as I say it's a lot more blue purple than it's showing up on here um, how does it get any better than that so I'm glad I played again with the balloon and yes definitely a bigger balloon works great so how much fun can you have popping balloons all over paint? <laughs> have fun and uh, what else is possible? <laughs>